Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video explaining on how to create a lemon juice battery and uh, going in depth about uh, how batteries work. So what you're going to need to use to build your battery is some copper wire to use as an electrode or conductor so that the electricity flows through the battery, uh, some galvanized nails to use as an anode, and also a material that will shed electrons so that the battery will actually have some electricity in it. Uh, some lemon juice to use as the acidic solution or electrolyte so that electrolysis actually occurs. And uh, a nice cube tray to actually contain the battery. Alright, now that I have your materials, you're going to cut as many... Uh, th roughly three inch long strands of copper wire as you need. Count how many holes you're going to use in your ice cube tray for your battery. That's how many strands of copper wire you're going to need to use. In my battery, I needed to use 10. Next, you're going to want to grab your galvanized nails and you're going to want to uh, snap it into smaller rectangles that will fit into your ice cube container. You will need to use as many galvanized nail rectangles as copper wire strands. Next, fill your ice cube tray with lemon juice. I already made my battery before making this video, so just pretend that this water is lemon juice. Take one galvanized nail rectangle and one strand of copper wire. Wrap the copper wire around the galvanized nail rectangle until it is tightly uh, wrapped around. Make sure that you wrap it uh, higher than I did so that the copper wrapped around uh, the galvanized nail isn't touching the lemon juice. Bend the copper that's sticking out from the galvanized nail uh, into a somewhat 90 degree angle and uh, place it into the ice cube tray so that the galvanized nail is inside of one hole and that the copper wire is dipping into another one. Repeat this process until you filled your entire ice cube tray with a chain of these battery cells. Once you're all done, add another loose piece of copper exiting the ice cube tray so that you now have a completed battery. Alright, time to explain a little more about the battery itself and how it works. So earlier in the video, I said that uh, you built a cell. So every hole in your ice cube tray is a cell. A cell is made out of three things. An anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. An electrolyte is a compound which sheds electrons when placed in a solution. In this experiment, lemon juice was used as an electrolyte. An anode is where the electricity enters the battery and a cathode is where the electricity exits the battery. In this experiment, the chemical reaction between the zinc in the galvanized nails and the lemon juice causes the zinc to shed some electrons and roam freely inside the battery. Through metallic bonding, those electrons get attracted to and go through the copper wire or the electrode and go through uh, the battery to stack upon the electricity from the other cells. All of this is what makes up a battery, which is a container consisting of one or more cells in which chemical energy is converted into electricity and used as a source of power. Allow me to show you how my homemade battery turned out. Here you can see that I hooked up the, voltom the voltometer voltometer, I have no idea how you say it, uh, to my homemade battery, and I got four and a half volts off of this thing. That's enough electricity to light up a simple LED. Here I hooked up an LED to a completed circuit with an on and off switch. Lithium ion batteries contain a greater energy density than other batteries, holding more charge and less space while weighing less. 
They also operate with a higher cell voltage, which can be useful. Lithium ion batteries can accept a faster rate of current, charging quicker than batteries made with lead acid. This is critical for time sensitive applications where vehicles have high utilization and fewer brake intervals. Of course, great perks like these come at a cost. Uh, mining of lithium is bad for the environment. It leaves waste around the mining zones and it contaminates the water around them as well. It destroys ecosystems and lithium, since it's a precious metal, means that it's rare and in high demand. So all this ecosystem destruction uh, will keep on happening with the need of lithium ion batteries. Batteries are incredibly useful uh, in everyday life and in robotics itself. Batteries uh, serve a crucial role because uh, they can allow uh, robots and machines to not be plugged into walls and outlets. They allow mobility and uh, accessibility uh, to anywhere if you need an electronic machine or robot. That is all. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and see you next time.